Hi guys, I got some wonderful news for you. In my hand, I have the world's fastest smartphone. That's right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put it up against the Galaxy S10. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so I've got the Galaxy S10. This is a stock firmer. It's just like when you get it from the store. Now I've got the Xiaomi Mi 9 here. This is a rooted phone with the custom ROM called Havoc ROM, along with the custom kernel called Mod Kernel. The GPU has been overclocked from the stock 600 megahertz to 800 megahertz on this. And also the file system has been switched from extension 4, which the Galaxy S10 and the Xiaomi Mi 9 uses on a stock ROM. But this has been modified to use F2FS file system, which is also used on the latest Galaxy Note 10, which gives you a lot better performance, especially with memory when you're loading big games. It's just gonna zip through. Uh, with this phone. So this is the world's fastest smartphone. But enough talking, let me go ahead and demonstrate. So we're gonna go ahead and run Antutu on both phones. Now I've closed out all apps on both phones here, as you can see. And I've put both phones on airplane mode. So stuff in the background won't interfere with the benchmarks. Let me go ahead and load up Antutu here. And those are the scores actually I just got before this test. Now, if you guys want to see how fast your phone is, go ahead and start this right when, when I start it. Then you will know how fast this modded uh, smartphone is. So let's go ahead and take a look. Ready? One, two, three. All right, they're on the race here. Oops. And you can see the Xiaomi Mi 9 taking a nice lead there. Ah. Sorry, this, I don't know why it's happening while I'm making a video. All right, we got it. We just gotta get it set here. And you can see the Xiaomi Mi 9 taking a lead. All right, and it's, it's just processing those graphics much, much faster. Uh, especially with the GPU overclock, this is gonna really help out games. It's gonna help your games load faster, um, just faster performance overall. Also, loading of games will be much faster. Um, you will actually have more RAM to work with. Now, I think this has eight gigs of RAM, and this has six gigs of RAM. So the Galaxy S10 actually has more memory, all right? Um, but this is running fast due to the F2FS and also overclocking of the GPU. And you can see we've got like two seconds faster with the Xiaomi uh, Mi 9 here. Looking very, very good. And you can see the Galaxy S10 just simply lagging behind. Now, um, you can do this with the Galaxy S10 also if you root it and install a custom ROM that has uh, overclocking support. So I will definitely look into that. Um, but for right now, um, this kernel, this setup, is just perfect, made for the Xiaomi Mi 9 because there's a lot of developers. Also, the file system, um, the whole operating system is a lot more easier to work with uh, with the Xiaomi Mi 9 because um, the my UI ROM is much closer to stock Android uh, than Samsung's Galaxy uh, One UI, which actually Samsung adds on a ton of bloatware, a ton of middleware, and that causes a lot of slowdowns. And also, if you want to make a custom ROM with the Galaxy S10, it makes it much harder. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So almost seven seconds ahead where, where that space stuff started. Um, so almost seven seconds ahead now. Um, so this is really exciting. And uh, it took me all day to get this thing working. It's basically a custom ROM with a kernel, like I said. Um, but yeah, it works flawless. It's, there's no bugs in it. Everything runs really fast. I've been daily driving it now. and. You know, this is a great way to really maximize your smartphone. Of course, this does use more uh, battery life, of course, when you are playing games, but when you're not, when you're not actually playing games, when you're not using um, the overclock, it doesn't overclock. It's just like a PC, it just throttles down. So if you use it normally just for web browsing, it's not gonna drain more battery, All right? Actually, it might actually use less battery because the F2FS is more efficient. All right, let's do another 
Um, let's see how fast or how much faster it is. So it went blank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About now it's at eight seconds ahead of the Galaxy S10. Um, now I've noticed that the Galaxy S10 does catch up eventually, um, but in the end it just it just loses pretty badly to this four hundred dollar. Uh, Xiaomi Mi 9. All right, this is in an $800, $800 phone versus a $400 phone. So this is the beauty of Xiaomi Mi 9. I, I don't want to sound like advertising, but this is actually my favorite, absolute favorite phone. If I didn't have, you know, all the money to buy all these phones, um, if I could only buy one phone, I would buy this because it's half the price of a Galaxy S10 or any of the flagships. Um, you can mod it, make it, you know, 20%, 30% faster than the Galaxy S10. Um, there's more ROM development. Uh, you can unlock the bootloader. There's a ton of stuff. Of course, this one you can unlock the bootloader, but the Galaxy S10, um, the ROM development has been really, really dead. Um, no one's really developing it anymore. I think it's because Samsung has locked the bootloader, especially on the US models. And a lot of us um, open source developers are actually based in US. So, I mean, you know, an open source developer, we don't, a lot of us just do this for a hobby and we don't make a lot of money. So um, definitely try this. I'll have a full tutorial on how to install this. Uh, make a Xiaomi Mi 9, make it uh, way faster than Galaxy S10. Now you can just grab this on eBay. Um, I'll put the, also the eBay link where I got it. Um, it's a really great deal. If you don't want to spend, if you don't need all the new Samsung gimmicky features, but you just want pure speed for gaming, I mean, this is the setup, not the Aces Rock 2, you know. Um, maybe I'll eventually have tests, but the N22 benchmarks are out there for Aces Rock also, too. Um, all out there, and, you know, they're slower than this. Even, I think number one right now is actually OnePlus 7 Pro, um, which gets about two, 370 to 380. K on N22. Now, I, I feel like N22 is actually a really good benchmark for gaming. Of course, for other things, it might not be, but I believe this is um, the best way to test it. So we're almost there. Let's do another countdown test, see how far ahead of uh, the uh, Xiaomi Mi 9 is. And as soon as this goes to a blank screen, I'll start counting here. So at 88%. Ninety, and I'll. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now ten seconds ahead of the Galaxy S10. Now this not might not sound like much, but if you play um, games like GTA, uh, racing games, or any graphic intensive games, you're gonna get much much faster loading times, much much faster lag free gaming. Um, all this without, you know, having to add more hardware. This is all in the software. It's very smart software. The kernel developer of this um, kernel. Um, also, you can use this kernel on uh, both stock firmware, the MUI firmware, and also on AOSP ROM. I'm actually running AOSP ROM. Um, the speeds are actually about the same. Uh, so it doesn't really matter whether you use um, MUI ROM, MUI stock ROM, or you use uh, AOSP Havoc ROM, which I've got on here, which I highly recommend. Um, I've been trying other ROMs, but I haven't got it to work, like Pixar Experience, I keep boot looping. So if you guys want to get the ultimate route, um, I would just go with Havoc ROM because it's got so much more customization. And I'm not really a fan of uh, my UI or me UI uh, stock ROM because it's really like an iPhone and it's really for the Chinese audience. And um, this brings me back to the US American, you know, the international experience for Android. And it's more of a stock experience. It actually really just turns your phone into a pixel. Woo -hoo -hoo! That's the highest score I've gotten so far. 425,947 versus 339,698. Wow. Look at that. Let me go ahead and put this up so you guys can see better. And let's actually go ahead and compare the numbers here and see what went right. What what we did right here. Oop. 
All right, so we could see here the CPU 20% faster with the Xiaomi Mi 9. Uh, as far as GPU, wow, almost 50K faster. So that works out like 30% faster than the Galaxy S10. Um, UX, uh, about 10,000, whoop, about 10,000 faster, 10,000 points faster, uh, which gives you maybe 8% improvement. Now, memory is where it makes this difference. The F2FS, along with some memory modifications, gives you double the performance of the Galaxy S10. I'll do another test soon, uh, loading games and playing games also. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing just kills the Galaxy S10. Now, I've got the Galaxy Note 10 Plus arriving later, which is supposed to have F2FS, uh, which should dramatically improve the numbers. Uh, over the Galaxy S10 a little bit. Um, that one also has the newer Exynos chip, um, so, so I'll do another test. But I think this will still beat it out. So this, guys, is the world's fastest smartphone setup right now. Anybody can do this. Grab this phone. Uh, I'll put a tutorial out hopefully later today. Follow that, and you will be able to own the fastest smartphone on Earth. That's faster than the OnePlus 7 Pro, Galaxy Note 10, Galaxy S10. I mean, this is the way to go. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, it took me all day yesterday just to get this working, but I've got it down, the whole method. Again, I'll put a tutorial up later today, hopefully. Have a great day, and as always, stay on the fastest smartphone in the world.